Hi viewers, welcome to my next YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create curved beam with stiffeners in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now I am going to create a curved beam. So click on Steel and click on this arrow under beam. You need to select this curved beam option and pick the first point. Pick the second point at here and pick the third point at here to create a curved beam like this. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse redraw. You can see now we have the curved beam by default like this. Now we need to edit this curved beam. So double click on this curved beam, scroll it down. Under curved beam option, you can change the radius at here. If you not get this option curved beam in your software, then click on here and you need to activate this here curved beam if you click on here you can see now we don't have curved beam option in the list to activate the curved beam option then click on here and you need to click on here to activate the curved beam in settings you can see by default we have the curved beam with a radius 10 feet 5 inch if you want to increase you can increase from here for example we are going to take here 12 feet radius then click on modify you can see now we have the 12 feet radius curved beam like this now we are going to take this number of segments here 59 then click on modify to see the result you can see and close this window now we have the curved beam with a smooth curve like this You can see right click mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse resolve now go to the top view by using the shortcut control p you can see now we're going to create stiffeners at this location before placing the stiffeners we need to take uh, reference lines so click on edit and scroll your mouse and you need to select this construction objects and let's take circuit with three points here you can see now we have the option here construction circle by three points click on this option and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at the middle and pick the third point at end to create the circle like this right click on mouse interrupt you can see now i have the circle now i'm going to change the color of the circle so double click on this circle and click on here and select this option red color then click on modify and close it to make sure this circle exactly at the middle of this beam use the shortcut control 2 for shaded view and you can see now this circle exactly at the center of this curved beam okay now go to create construction lines so click on here construction objects and select this line and pick the first point at the center if you not get any snap symbol here you need to activate this option snap to center points pick the center point at here and pick the end point at here to create construction lines like this now i'm going to create one more construction line so pick the first point and pick the second point at the end to create construction line now i'm going to create middle construction line so pick the first point and pick the second point at here to create like this now we going to check the angle here so click on edit and click on measure and select this angle and pick the first point at here and pick the first point and second point to measure the angle here now we have the angle here 55.28 right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse okay now we are going to co copy this construction line so select this construction line then right click on mouse copy special rotate and click on clear now we will got two number of copies and the angle is 25 degrees and you need to pick the origin position at here then click on copy to create construction lines like this Similarly, we are going to create construction lines on other side. So, right click on mouse interrupt. Now, select this construction line. Then, right click on mouse. Copy special. Rotate. 
now we need to take here negative value before 25 angle minus 25 degrees so click on copy okay that becomes interest okay now our scope is now we're going to create stiffness at this location and at here and at here and at this position and at this location okay now go to the application components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in search bar type number 1003 you will get this component stiffness number 1003 select this component and zoom it select the beam and pick the point at here to create stiffness like this now right click on this interrupt and close this window click on space now use the shortcut control p for 3d view and zoom it click on space right click on 3d view use the shortcut control 4 for render view and zoom it you can see now we have the stiffener like this okay now we're going to edit this stiffener as we record so right click on interrupt double click on this stiffener by default we have the clearance between the beam and stiffener is 1 by 16 now if you want to increase you can increase or you, you can reduce from here now click on this parts tab in parts you can control the thickness and width and length of this stiffener for example you can see thickness we are going to take here 1 by 4 quarter inch on both side left and right side then click on modify to see the result you can see now the thickness should be 1 by 4 inch similarly you can adjust this width of this stiffener for example we are going to take here 3 inch 3.5 inch 3 and a half inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now the stiffener should be 3 and a half inch now we are going to reduce the stiffener width so let's take here 3 inch 6 by 16 means 3 inch 3 by 8 then click on module to see the result you can see now I have the stiffener like this still this stiffener is outside of this flange so now I'm going to reduce here let's take 3 inch 5 by 16 Then click on modify you can see now this stiffener inside of the flange like this okay now go to par parameters tab in parameters you can control this chamfer value you can see now we have the chamfer at here at the corner this is the chamfer you can control this chamfer at here for example let's take the chamfer value 1 inch in a horizontal and vertical then click on modify to see the result you can see now the chamfer should be 1 inch according to these two options ok now use the shortcut control 2 by default this stiffness along with the curved beam angle if you want to change this angle you can increase the radius from here for example we are going to take 25 degrees click on modify you can see now this stiffener is inclined 25 degrees from for this option for example we are going to take here 40 degrees then click on modify you can see now this stiffener is 40 degrees like this ok but this stiffener should be along with the rafter so remove this dimension then click on modify to get like this exactly perpendicular to the flange and the angle like this once completed then click on modify up like ok click on space right click on master view now go to the top view by using the shortcut control p ok now we're going to create these stiffeners with the same property at here so go to application components click on here and select this stiffener and select the beam and pick the position at here to create stiffener like this similarly we are going to create stiffener at this location so select the beam and pick position to create stiffener 
and pick the beam and pick the position to create stiffener like this. Similar, we are going to place the stiffener at this location. So, self grip beam and pick the position to create stiffener at here along the rafter direction. Click on this window, close this window, right click on the center, click on space, right click on the zero. Just like this. Okay. Now we don't require any this construction line, so select this construction lines and delete and delete this cir circle construction circle. Now use the shortcut control P for 3D view and use the shortcut control 4 for render view. You can see now we have curved beam with stiffener like this. Okay, that's it about how to create curved beam with stiffeners in Tetla structures. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tekla structure related videos, please go to my channel. YouTube.com slash SK. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many Tekla structure related videos. I hope these videos might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.